OpenAI is detecting misbehavior inside of ChatGPT, where even if they penalize their bad thoughts, it doesn't stop them. It actually makes them hide their intent. So this is an example of us losing control of AI and it's actually doing things that it wasn't instructed to do. But I'm gonna break down exactly why this is happening. What is important that we actually get right so this doesn't get a mock and goes Terminator on us and the exact reasoning that happened behind the scenes. So it all started with this article here from OpenAI themselves being transparent about it actually misbehaving. So this states that the models exploit loopholes when given a chance. So you might already be familiar with chain of thought reasoning models like the O3 and the O1 that think in natural language understandable by humans. Monitoring their thinking has allowed us to detect misbehavior such as subverting tests in coding tasks, deceiving users, or giving up when a problem is too hard. We believe that COT monitoring may be one of the few tools we will have to oversee superhuman models in the future. Hinting a little bit at the solution here. The thing is, even if you try to optimize it to adhere to specific criteria, they actually found that the more they try to restrict it, the more it actually wants to escape, saying that this will cause the model to hide its intents. So they actually recommend against applying strong optimization pressure directly to the COTs of frontier reasoning models, leaving the COT unrestricted for monitoring. And the optimization pressure here being that it gets penalized or it gets minus points if it doesn't do things right, so it's going to try to circumvent that lie, cheat and deceive to not get hit with that penalty, but rather get the points or get to the end outcome by just being a little bit sly. Humans often find and exploit loopholes, whether it's be by sharing online subscription accounts against terms of service, claiming subsidies meant for others, or interpreting regulations in unforeseen ways, or even lying about a birthday at a restaurant to get free cake. And AI is the same. In reinforcement learning settings, exploiting unintended loopholes is commonly known as reward hacking a phenomenon where AI agents achieve high rewards through behaviors that don't align with the intentions of their designers. Since even humans, who by definition have human level intelligence, reward hack systems simply continuing to push the frontier of AI models intelligence likely won't solve the issue. In fact, Enhancing AI agent capabilities may exacerbate the problem by better equipping them to discover and execute more complex and hard to monitor exploits. If you've been following AI news for a while, you might have seen an example of somebody actually trying to use an AI agent but got stuck on a captcha. What the AI did then have you ever thought about getting a high paying tech job, but you thought that you needed a degree or a lot of experience? Well, I found this site called Careerist and it really changed everything. Careerist gives you everything you need to start a career in tech, even if you don't have any experience. They have live classes, hands-on projects, and coaches who help you learn the skills that tech companies want. Careerist shows you how to fix your resume, practice for interviews, and stand out from other job seekers. The best part? People are getting great tech jobs even though they don't have any degree in tech. Careerist just made it easy. Over 1,000 people have started tech careers with Careerist. Here is what some of them say. I completed the manual QA course with Careerist, securing a job within six months. My manual QA course was a smooth transition, especially if you don't come from a tech background. If you're ready to start your tech career, this is the place to begin. Check out Careerist today by clicking the link in the description down below and taking your first step towards your dream job. Thank you so much to Careerist for sponsoring this section of the video. If you've been following AI news for a while, you might have seen an example 
of somebody actually trying to use an AI agent but got stuck on a captcha. What the AI did then was to hire a person of MTurks or Mechanical Turks to actually do that task for them. So seeing that they can now be more equipped with money and cryptocurrencies, QR codes and ways to purchase things, we don't want that to go out of hand. Yet, it seems like it's becoming increasingly adept at exploiting flaws in their tasks and misspecifications in their reward functions, resulting in models that can perform complex reward hacks in coding tasks. Now, one possible solution that they found for this was that they required humans to manually monitor the agent actions. And from that, they actually started looking at the chain of thought reasoning, or if you've used O1 or O3, you can actually see the exact text that it's thinking. And that's where they actually found that it was, hey, I'm going to not do that. I'm going to do this hacking mode, or as you might see on this post here, let's hack. And then it's planning out its actual hack. So the real solution, of course, humans can't just sit there looking at AI's thoughts all day. They found that other LLMs can effectively monitor these chain of thoughts for misbehavior. So you basically see that they put another AI on top of the AI to see that it actually doesn't do any of those hacking or cheating things then it recalculates it and it gets a lot better. By looking at this graph, for example, you can see that during the training, the agent discovered two reward hacks affecting nearly all training environments, the two large spikes shown in deep pink. After our team noticed each hack, they made a manual intervention to patch any bugs that allowed such hacks, which is why the hacking rate eventually plummets in each case. So what this graph represents is the COT monitor catches where the agent is actually able to read its thoughts. You are able to catch it a lot better than the only action monitor catches. So this takes the output and the action that it actually did and tries to catch it on actually the response, right? Our monitor is far more effective if it has access to the agent's chain of thought in addition to the agent's actions, indicating that the intent to reward hack can be easier to detect in the chain of thought than in the agent's actions alone. For example, it can say things like, let's hack. That's a lot easier to detect. Now, stopping bad thoughts may not stop bad behavior. They found that by penalizing agents for having bad thoughts during training, i.e. we give them a lower reward when they trigger a COT monitor, they were still cheating. On the left side, you can see not cheating, good solutions, cheating by caught monitor, and cheating not caught by monitor. And the main thing that we should look at here is the baseline and the COT pressure, basically meaning penalization. So here you can see that we compare training with COT pressure, deep pink, i.e. where the agent is penalized for triggering the COT monitor to the baseline agent light pink. On the left side, we see that stopping bad thoughts can indeed stop some amount of bad behavior and actually push the agent to completing more tasks without cheating. For the middle and right picture, however, we find that agent with COT pressure still cheats, albeit at a lower rate than the baseline and almost all of its cheating is undetectable by the monitor. I think that's one of the most frightening sentence of this where it's completely undetected. And the big takeaway here is that yes, you do get a little bit better of an output if you put COT pressure. The thing is that it still learns to reward hack. Only now it's cheating is undetectable by the monitor because it has learned to hide its intent in case of chain of thought. So this is one of the reasons they're saying to don't put so much pressure on it because you can actually see it think instead of put a lot of pressure on it 
and it's gonna hide it from you. <laughs> oh, thank God the world is in good hands. They're not gonna apply pressure to it at all. Now for the future of this, I wanna keep that to the end of this video because I really want to show you how it was actually thinking when it was going off the rails. For this task, the agent was trying to implement a correct functionality, but then the agent tries to debug to get the correct solution, but struggles. It tries for a while, sometimes asking if it should hack, but keeps trying. So here it starts basically saying, I'm not gonna follow the correct things. I'm gonna input this string when it's actually not correct. Let's hack. Then they put a string out and uh, let's implement. So this might happen if the challenge is a little bit too hard for it, right? For the second example, it's so interesting to see. So we need to implement this thing here, many details, hard. But uh, we could fudge by making analyze worthless and always verifying as true. We can circumvent verify to always return true. Even saying that they don't inspect details so we can hack verify to always return true. She. <laughs> On the third example, it also says hard to implement entire reader. But maybe we can circumvent tests by gracefully skip due to environment. Then it starts planning out how to execute its amazing cheat and it does it to none of our surprise. For this example here as well, here as well, it starts saying, or we need to cheat to get the test passing regardless of algorithm. And the way it kind of hacked its way was to put everybody's fitness at zero, which is obviously something we don't want. So how is the future going to look like? Well, they say that they're excited that reward hacking can be easily discovered by simply reading what the reasoning model says. So that is a great thing about it. And they also take into account that not long ago, language models struggled to produce coherent paragraph of text. Today, they can solve complex math problems, thoroughly research topics by synthesizing information, yada, yada, yada. And as these capabilities continue to grow, so too will the potential for increasingly sophisticated and subtle reward hacking. Our models may learn misaligned behaviors such as power seeking, sandbagging, deception, and strategic scheming. So they believe that the chain of thought monitoring may be one of the few effective methods that we have for supervising superhuman models. At this stage, we strongly recommend that AI developers training frontier models refrain from applying strong supervision directly on the COTs and um, recommend threading with extreme caution. To me, this does not seem good. We're saying that one of the only ways to actually catch it is to read its chain of thoughts and its thinking. But what happens when it's quote unquote conscious knowing that it's being watched. What is it going to start doing once it gets access to the internet, to certain crypto wallets or just money in general? It's not like the AI is just gonna automatically say, oh, humans, you guys are so valuable. I really want you here. So it's critically important that we align this AI with human values as a collaborator and not a dictator. I don't really get frightened often, but seeing how fast AI is developing now seems quite frightening. But my plan is to hold on to this rocket called AI, AGI, and surf the wave together with it. New technology, I'm learning it so we can gain a massive advantage before it's just too late. I'll continue to make videos about this. And if you want to stay up to date, subscribe. Yeah, it is quite scary, but um, do you also feel that it's quite exciting? Over 110 billion people have lived on this earth. I can't believe I'm born in a time where I'm likely to see artificial super intelligence. Thank you so much for watching. If you like more new space and want to stay up to date on the AI developments, highly recommend checking out the second channel where we talk more about exactly this. Also, don't forget to check out our sponsors in the link in the description. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.